Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave Browser has received a version upgrade from version 1.67 to 1.68. And the update rolled out uh, late yesterday in my part of the world on the 24th of July. And the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, has also received a version upgrade to version 127. Now, as always, if you'd like to double check you have the update, we head to our main menu, as always, help about Brave. And the browser now, after the update has been applied, is sitting on version 1.68.128. And the Chromium platform is exactly the same as Google Chrome, sitting on version and build 127.0.6533.73. Now, while we are talking about Google Chrome, the Chromium update will also include this week's security fixes, which were quite numerous. We had 22 security fixes rolling out, and of that, three high severity flaws were addressed and those flaws um, ranking as high severity were all user after free so that's user after free in downloads use after free in loader and use after free in dawn and use after free is a very common exploit that gets patched almost on a weekly basis in the chromium based web browsers and then over and above the high severity flaws that have been patched we get a couple of mediums and a couple of lows and thankfully there are no zero days that have been exploited in the wild for this week. So 22 security fixes in total. Now focusing on what's new. And first of all, if you are using the Web3, the cryptocurrency side of things in the browser, as always, there's always a lot of add-ons and updates and fixes that have rolled out for Web3. Too many to mention for this video. But if you'd like some more in-depth info, just head back to your About Brave page, click on the version and that will take you over to the release notes where you can go check out um, those improvements and fixes and updates for Web3 and the cryptocurrency side of things in the browser. Now, fo now focusing on the rest of the new features, as you can see, something strange happening um, on the new tab page where they've added a search widget to the new tab page. So if you click on it, it takes you it pops it back to more or less where the search used to be. And if you don't want to use it, you just click anywhere on the new tab page and it pops it down below. And if you don't want to see the widget or the search bar, you just click on hard search. And then if you head back to customize, you'll see right at the bottom here, they've got search and you can toggle that on. And obviously you've got your different search engines you can enable. And there we go. That's the new widget search widget to the new tab page and i'm kind of on the fence with, with this one i don't know if i actually enjoy it or not but nonetheless they've added that search widget to the new tab page now they've also enabled rich a rich version of brave search autocomplete suggestions which i'm not seeing at this stage in my region so this could be on a on a controlled rollout but nonetheless there's a screenshot taken from uh, the release notes and that's more or less what those rich that a uh, rich version of Brave Search uh, is all about regarding those autocomplete suggestions in case you would be interested. And then they've also improved uh, Brave Leo, the conversation UI layout. So if you are using that, that's just a bit of a user interface improvement. And they've also improved the component updated to check for updates more often. Now, now I've always said in Brave that, um, you know, like in most web browsers on the channel, we head to our main menu help about Brave to check for updates. And I've always mentioned that Brave is very quick at updating itself in the background. And I actually very seldom have to go to the browser and go through this process to manually update the browser. So they have improved the component update to check for updates more often. So that's even going to be making the updates get installed even faster now. So um, Brave very intent to keep their browser up to date, which I think is always a good thing. And then they've also updated the styling of the widgets on the new tab page. So for this, we're going to head back to Customize. And if we head to, uh, let's head down to Cards. And if we just enable Cards, you can see that styling has been updated. So looking a lot more kind of material U and fluent with a lot more rounded corners. And you can even see that on the search widget, a lot more kind of fluent and material U. So... Um, that's a bit of a UI interface once again, where they've updated the styling of the widgets on the new tab page. And we're almost um, at the end of the list of new features. And they've also removed the safety check warning for local passwords. 
And then we get five fixes that have rolled out for different components of the browser itself. So if you have experienced any issues in Brave, um, then just double check your browser's up to date. So guys, that's more or less what's new in Brave version 1.68 with Chromium 127, which as mentioned, rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 24th of July. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.